All right, guys, we've been running hard for about three months and the rain has finally hit. Got us a little shop time. Still waiting on parts of the old 120. We're gonna run a little maintenance on some other stuff. All right, first thing on the list is little 304. I didn't check it had a oil thing on it. Oh, okay. You're good. Is that good? Okay. Just making sure. It okay. don't work real good in the radiator. Not that I would know. <laughs> 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 All right, we got the 304 in the shop. It's got uh it's not quite due for an oil change, but it's getting close. And it was close to the shop, so we just decided to go ahead and do it while it's raining. <clears throat> Aaron's already got it grease. The main reason we brought it in here is the uh, fuel filter was stopped up on it. It was starting to give us a little bit of trouble. So we got a new fuel filter on it. Gonna blow out the air filter and the radiator. But the biggest issue we got is this guard right here. Oh, uh, this is some matte car quality work. We can't blame, blame that one on Captain Kleeman. This is a two piece guard. It got, protects this cylinder right here, which is down the dirt from the angle. So we're gonna have to get the old smoke wrench out and probably the BFH and uh, manipulate that thing back into shape. And I think this girl will be ready to go and we'll be on to the next piece. So I got some important stuff to do. I need to go mow grass. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this guy. Hey, uh, we're getting ready to get in our time and a half. So you are charging Matt for that guard, ain't you? That's right. All right, take just it. making sure. I'm gonna take him straight out. I'm looking right now. I'm gonna, take it, I'm gonna take it straight out of his check and it'll take him two months to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's mean, but He's true. gonna love you. I know. I don't think he watches YouTube. I think we're in good shape. Yeah. So, hey, we can't pick on Captain Cleveland. We gotta pick on somebody. Yeah. All right, take care of my peeps. All right, we're gonna go for a little ride. We're gonna go underneath the old cat. Uh, something that I didn't know, and now I see it. I'm gonna show you guys. But I like it, even though I had to find it the hard way. All right, I know it's kind of dark under here, but you can see this little hole right here get a little light up here all right you see that up there that's that's the drain for the oil well you can actually take your finger up in here and there's it's kind of like a little valve up in there on it you kind of see it but there's plenty of room to get up in there turn that valve so the oil will drain what i like about this is is you don't have to drop this whole belly pan than I did because Mr. Dirt Perfect told me I had to. Uh, now that I know this, where this little hole's at right here, and that's how you change the oil on it, I will, uh, from now on, just reach up in there, grab that little shut-off valve, open it up, and drain it, and not have to waste 20 minutes taking this off. I know it, you think 20 minutes is a long time, by the time you find the tools after Mr. Dirt Perfect's got them, hid all over the shop and you can't find them uh it saves a lot of time just being able to do that and then the oil filter of course is right here which makes it real easy to get to so uh yeah oil is changed now all the grease fittings are greased uh moving on to cleaning the cab out which i'll probably pull a case of empty mount or pepsi cans out of there and uh then i go to i guess beating and banging on that bracket, the guard that uh, Matt had uh, messed up for us. So I just want to point that little tip out on the uh, cat there, how easy it could be to change the oil. Now that I know what I'm doing, I'm gonna do it that way next time. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, believe it or not, not one can, not one can did I find in here. So that was a plus. I figured I'd find a, usually back, you go back behind the seat down in here and you will find i guarantee you a case of empty pepsi cans in about every piece of equipment he owns but i didn't to get too carried away on it i know he's going to take it probably tomorrow and just destroy the inside so what i did do is uh got all the mud dirt out of the cup holders uh just kind of back the seat off uh got it to where you can see that the foot pedals are black not brown light brown and you can actually see there's a floorboard in here so uh that's gonna be the extent of my cleaning on this thing 
and shined up that one sticker up here. I shined it up a little bit, which you can't see, it's kind of dark, but you had to shine that one up. But uh, to me, that's uh, a lot better than what it was. So I hope he likes it. Man, you just never know what you're gonna find out here in the shop. I knew that he was a true LBI at heart. And this just proves it right here. I guess he's just a little wannabe though. You can see that LBI up there. Must be just like his brothers, Grant and Brett. <laughs> Have you done anything productive while I was at my meeting? Got some video footage. <laughs> oh boy, it's always a surprise when we edit around here. <laughs> oh, this piece still looks mangled there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's still a little mangled up. I needed some help. Lucky, uh, luckily, I'm here to save the day. You are. That way you can pry while I'm heating it, and I think we'll get her bent right back You out. missed the most important part. I can also give you directions. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so we got this piece here. It's not perfect, but it's beat into submission. But the most impressive part is, it actually bolts up on here like it's supposed to. Our next issue is this slide right here. It's supposed to be straight, and it is not. So we're gonna see if Mr. Man behind the scenes can heat that up without burning my hydraulic hose underneath it. I'm happy, ask me why I'm happy. Why are you happy? This ain't no joke. Oh God. <laughs> Are we going to tell him about No Joke? Oh man, No Joke Johnny Pope, boy. So, <laughs> little little uh, insider information here. Mr. Man Behind the Scenes has a famous brother. Yes, sir. He's getting them big guns like me. He's becoming a WWE wrestler now. <laughs> and he goes by No Joke Johnny Pope. <laughs> and that's no joke. <laughs> uh, and I'd like to say this is a joke, but it's not. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, but I'm in a good mood. Now ask me why I'm in a good mood. Uh, why are you in a good mood? Because we got a boat that runs. This is true. We're going to be able to go out on the river. And it's air conditioned in the shop and the humidity's down here. It's like freaking 100 degrees and 85% humidity outside. It is miserable. And thunderstorms are rolling in. All right, heat her up. straight that actually straightened up pretty nice right there yeah i wish that guard there straightened out that good moment of truth will it fit
guys little mini's ready to go it's got uh, old change greased filter blew out Aaron even swept out the cab or tell what kind of treasures you found in there and no Pepsi cans and no Pepsi cans I haven't been running at your dad has. <laughs> but I uh, got the blade control fixed to got a bucket pin in just uh, nothing major bunch of odds, odds and end stuff we're gonna pull this out dump trucks next All right, guys, here's a story on this girl. It needs a couple things. This steer tire is uh, pretty much the end of its life. I can maybe squeak another week or two out of it, but it's in the shop. We're gonna get her changed. It's also due for an oil change, and we've been running her pretty hard here the last uh, month and a half, two months. So we're gonna crawl around on her, just brakes, just kind of give her a good uh, once over, make sure we ain't got anything crazy going on. It's been a while since I've been underneath this truck. It's been been doing good so haven't really had a reason to but uh yeah we got the time so we're gonna look her over once and see what's going on i'm gonna let aaron tackle uh, i'm gonna let aaron tackle old change and i'm probably gonna start in on the tire ah tire work my favorite all right oh tire yeah, I'll get this tire. If you want to start in on the oil. On the oil? Yeah. Now, okay. how many how many points is this? Uh, clue. Like, well, that pan hold it? Yeah, that pan should hold it. I'll make sure it's empty. Yeah.
All right, success. New tires mounted. How do you like changing tires? It ain't so bad when you got a machine that does it for you. I do you're got not a machine. The machine. <laughs> when you're not the machine, it ain't too bad. It's one of those, you do it enough times, you get it figured out, it's not that bad. If you just do it occasionally, it sucks. I'm the occasional guy. You think I'd be good at it as means I change? No, I'm not. So, we got tire on there. We got to get the bead seated on the rim. And uh, I think you guys have seen this in a few videos before. It's my homemade bead blaster. It's uh, parts out of the old sawmill. Hmm. Got a little actuator there. Most of them just got a little hand crank on it. Oh no, we gotta have a button. Hit the button and shoves the valve open and pops the tire out. So I still got the valve stem pour out as it allows more air to go through. So we're gonna see what happens. I usually have better luck staying the tire up on edge than I do laying down flat, but we'll see how that works. Okay. Yeah. All right, tire is mounted and inflated. Oil is drained, filter's on. Here's the question. Can you find the oil fill on this truck? But the engineers put it just, you know, exactly where you think it would be. You know, really, thought, real, you know, maybe yeah, right really, there, really easy. easy. You know that yeah, little, that's, that's little like washer fluid there, but. Little cat excavator you changed oil in, everything is real handy to get to. Yes. Well thought out. Yes. Yeah, the same guy did not design this truck. Well, I noticed because I, I mentioned something in the, in the video whenever I did get under there, I had to show them how easy it is that you don't even have to take a belly pan off. It, it's to, just shy of pulling the radiator out to get oil on this thing. Really? So I don't even know if I can even get the camera in there to show them. It's way down there. So this is something you have to have I mean, long arms for. No, uh, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but I'm not even sure you're tall enough to reach it. <laughs> Right there. Oh, look at that. Ah. It takes all five foot four you got. <laughs> now, uh. the trick is you gotta stack about six funnels to get oil in it. And I've only got five. <laughs> well, I, I'm real good at watching and learning, so I'm gonna let you do it this time. Oh no, I've, I've, I've had my practice. They've even seen, I know, well, they've even seen me do it on video. I would rather, I would rather see and learn. Now, in it. all seriousness, who in their right mind you know, I bet if you check, they got an extension kit you could put on that and run oh, that Okay, up. that's fine. Why in the hell isn't it on there from the factory? Well, you gotta buy that extra. Oh, man. That's oh. A... <laughs> this is right behind uh, Kubota Engineer on the list. Yeah. Thank you. How's it going up there? It's going. This takes a lot of skill. Don't, uh, I don't know if this is inappropriate filming or not, but I'm filming between your legs. Don't miss. When you're good, you're good, bud. How much do you love engineers? They, they are awesome. All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna put me a tire back on. Something ain't right.
It's about as hard as get to as the dang feel. Oh yeah, you're good now. Good. All right, man. Behind the scenes, it's a new day. Is this one ready to roll out? I need some more air pressure. I think you need a new air chuck. It's uh, my air chuck selection in the shop is pitiful. <laughs> need to put that on there. There is uh, no selection if you only got one. It, oh, it's an embarrassment. Need to put that on this the uh, go kart tire. <laughs> <laughs> need to put that on the shopping list. Uh, and the other problem is, is we got uh, offset chucks, and we need straight trucks for semi tires. It's just, it's just a bad deal. It's just an all around bad deal. You know what else is a bad deal? My decals. Officer Hoover, I tried. It didn't work out. Bad news: these did not stick. Good news: I did order some new ones. They'll be here in about two days. I just need to not wait six months to put them on the door, but. Uh, this one's fixing to roll out, and uh, what's next? Tracks. No, the Volvo. The Volvo. The Volvo. The Volvo. Why do you always gotta be right? <laughs> That's why my name's on the shirt. <laughs> Actually, that don't work no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, it don't. That used to work because the company was Simon's Concrete Next Bay, but now there's Dirt Perfect. You get the whole point. <laughs> no, Alright, Volvo's next. Let's get this pig out of here. Alright guys, got the Volvo in the shop. Aaron's going to go ahead and jump in on the greasing. Um, according to the computer, which apparently the computer knows all because it dings, whistles, and bings all the dang time, it's uh, time for an oil change. Hmm. <laughs> is this uh, the, uh, the cat? Probably not, because uh, nothing on this thing is easy. And me and that little monitor up there, I'm going to take the dinger out of it one of these days. It's uh. This thing gets low on windshield, windshield washer fluid, and you'd think the turbo is about ready to blow out the exhaust pipe. It's uh, anyway. That's a that's a whole other story for a whole other day. All right, we're getting sidetracked, but this is actually the first service I've done on this machine since I had it. All seriousness, it's been a pretty good machine. I've, I've had some issues with it. I think a lot of it has to do with it being sitting, but uh, we're working through the kinks and still going with it. I'm really going to be excited whenever that thing is back on the job, but. Um, 
First time servicing this thing. Not really for sure what we're getting into. Can't be too difficult, but uh, we'll figure it out. Gonna give her an oil change and uh, I'm going to clean this cab out because it's an absolute embarrassment. Absolute embarrassment. Got spilt Pepsi up there, got dirt there. There may be a water bottle in there that might be mine, but that'd be it. Got okay. Pepsi cans, I promise. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, guys, we are underneath the Volvo. Isn't that a lovely view? Keep in mind, it's first time change oil on this. I think it's first time change oil on anything Volvo in that car. But uh, a couple things. One, unlike the other ones, you don't have to take the skid pan off. It's got this nice big hole right here in the little hand cap. I think there's supposed to be a drain tube for that. I don't know if I got it or not, which is nice. But I'm not for sure how I feel about that big hole being open right there. I've been known to shove sticks in places. Sticks don't belong. But, uh, on the flip side, the skid pans are way heavier than the John Deere, which that's nice because I've been known to bend a few of those too, but see if we can get this oil to land in the pan without making a mess. You get the oil all over it, which wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. Wouldn't be the first time today. I mean, after you make, let me walk around with a four inch circle piece of grease on my head all day yesterday well well let me fair i took the cap off and nothing come out all right guys so i don't know if you can see that thing right there but apparently there's another part that goes on there according to the book which we don't have so i had to go all redneck on it I had to take the belly pan off to get a wrench on it and we're just going to take the whole little apparatus out here Hope the oil hits the pan. Go old school on it. Oh yeah, there we go. Good news, we hit the hole. That's good. I think if we had the right tool, this would be a very easy oil change because this is easy to get to and the oil filter is really easy to get to over. I'll show you in a minute. But ooh. Let me let this drain and then we'll show you what we got. That was close. My old pan just about overflowed there, Aaron. Oh I see you're really concerned about my situation underneath here. I'm more concerned we ain't got the right filters. We have to have the right filters. Did you find us an old filter? No. I mean, I found one. This ain't gonna work either. That is tight. I'm gonna have to get a You're gonna have to actual let wrench. You have to let a man get in there and do it for you. My goodness. Somebody's got the old Napa on. Oh. Oh. Grab it all the way at the bottom. That's where the filter is the strongest. <laughs> Look at that. Look, see, you just listen. <laughs> I loosened it up. I loosened the thing Dude, up up as here. Soon as you listened, it went a half a turn. As soon as up you listen, everything. We went. got video footage of how I got it loose we do up have, top. We do have video footage of I how just, I showed you to grab it in the proper location and things went your way immediately. No, they, they were going before that. I just didn't have nowhere else to grab. I had it smashed in. Because you weren't grabbing it on the bottom where the strength's at. I already had it. I probably could have grabbed it with my hand. And got it off after no, I got it No, because if you could have grabbed here. it with your hands, you would have already grabbed it. We will have oh. to say, they do have all the filters. Uh, we have got to get a drain pan. <laughs> you are making a mess. <laughs> here, I'll let you borrow my rag because I like you. <laughs> uh, where's that other drain pan I brought over for the filter? Uh, Laying over there. <laughs> oh, back. wait a minute. You used it. Okay, hold on. I got a box right here. I'll just use that box. Yeah, that'll work great. <laughs> Did you find the right hole up there? Washer flood. Don't think that's gonna do real good on my windshield. Everybody on YouTube and, uh, says everybody yeah. on YouTube says my windshields are dirty enough. Could you imagine what they look like if you squirt oil all over? Well, it gives it a real good coat. Like a protection coat on it. Well it does. I don't know if it repels water when it's uh they don't 
jive real well with all that. Windshield won't rust. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a real concern with glass nowadays, you know, the rusting glass. Oh, so that's three. Let's just let you put more oil in, not think. Yeah. You know how many it takes? Ah. I'm gonna go with more than three, less than seven. That's a good guess. I don't know. I'm gonna say, I didn't get to see these pans, how much you got in each pan. So I'm gonna go six. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and put six in and then we'll check it. No, let's put five in. <laughs> Oh, sweet Jesus. Look, I'll show them. This is a prime example of why I argue with this big door sometimes. Look, I am parked like six feet away from the 120, and yeah. Let me check the hole somewhere else. There's a dipstick down to your left up there. Anyways. No, I ain't going to get a dipstick. I said <laughs> there is a dipstick out there. It's kind of hard to see. Side glass? And no, it's kind of hard to see. It's down underneath the radiator fill, like over there. See it down there? Oh. It's down in there. It's got a little yellow top on it. Do any of you guys see it? I don't see it. I can see it from here. Will be red, 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 red. red. What, what color is that? Red. You told me yellow. Well, that was close. We're in the same family. <laughs> oh, don't, don't want to lose that. Boy, you do take care of me, don't you? Did you? Uh, take what? There's kind of a Pepsi stain over in that region. If you can take care of that while it's in the shop, that'd be great. I tell you what, I'll do the vacuum. I'm not the one that lets this thing get this way. I, I was raised, I mean, you make a mess, you clean it up, right? I was raised, if you make a mess, you finally got to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Mommy! <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Damn! All right, turn that vacuum cleaner back it's on. Looking, I ain't got it's looking good over here. Yeah. Can't hear you no more. All righty, Volvo is all serviced and complete. Man behind the scenes got the cab detail. Look at that, man, looking good. Even smells new in there. Hey, overall, the, overall for the first service on this machine, it wasn't too bad to do. No, uh-uh. Was... No, I mean, the worst part was trying to get all the mud and dirt and uh, spilt Pepsis all over the cab out. That was the you biggest could've, problem. You could have left that part out. No. <laughs> Everybody needs to know. <laughs> but uh, Captain Kleeman, he's actually out there. He's been working on the low board trailer today. We put uh, that board there was loose on the trailer. Let me just go outside. My, uh, my window is so dirty, nobody can see out. Well, when you need me, come in and get me because it's kind of warm yeah. out there. AC on in there, huh? But uh, put a new tire on the trailer and uh, this board here was flopping loose. So we got that look, Captain Kleeman lost his camera. So he's got a fancy tether now. Isn't that neat? I'm not making fun of your camera, I promise. Then uh, what else did we do? Oh, we uh, got a new oversized load banner on it. So uh, anyways, Volvo's heading out. Next in the shop, 850.
pretty nice, but Miss Durf's Durf Perfect worked so hard to keep that yard nice and neat. And then all it takes is you and an 850 to screw everything up. I was, uh, what do they call that, air, irrigating? Yeah, that's, that's irrigating. He's, he's trying to work on Oh, I'm sorry. You might apologize to me. Yeah. Eighteen inches off the ground, high enough. Okay. Let's try to take the old ticket truck. Works great. There you go. All right, we got the old girl back in the shop. We must have did something right. I think it's been almost a year and a half, two years since uh, this thing's been in the shop. We re rebuilt the blade on it and did some uh, maintenance to it. It don't need a whole lot. For some reason, see that one pedal over there? It's sticking. I don't know what's going on. We're going to have to get in there and find out uh, if it's got some dirt in something or what's going on. And we got some uh, fan belt noise going on. We'll get in there. I don't know if we got a loose fan belt idler going out or uh, what the deal is. But uh, look into that a little bit. And then uh, just a typical service, change fluids. And I may change oil in these uh, final drive plant there. I don't know. I like, uh, like keeping up the maintenance on them pretty good. And uh, look her over, make sure there's nothing else. It's still got quite a bit of work to do yet this summer, so uh, just want to make sure she's ready to roll. All right, so we have tied in to the sticky pedal issue, and I don't know, this pedal system is awful elaborate for a very simple, very yeah, simple maneuver it makes. But basically, we originally thought the whole issue was up here in this shaft. There's a, I don't know if you can see up there on top. See how a little shaft comes out? We thought the issue was in sticking in there, but it goes down and hits one of these little blocks right here. I'm trying my best to show you guys. One of these things here, that's how it works on that side. And on this side, we've got it out, which is this piece here, and it is just stuck. So uh, I think the man behind the scenes is gonna take out a part, emery cloth that make it look pretty, and see if it'll move again. I present you broken parts. Make a trophy out of it for the next uh, <laughs> No, we need, it for, we need a dozer to go left. <laughs> yeah. All right, what is this, like a week later? I think it is like a week later. Your horse, he partied, uh, he partied too hard this weekend. I worked too hard this uh, weekend. We'll have to go to your it's channel. Like working, it's like working with you. You know, <laughs> you're always yelling at somebody. Always excuses. But we have uh, rounded up some parts, a couple things. Uh, local guy here, the, 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 I don't know if I covered this real well in the first half, but the issue was the bearing and the alternator was bad. Took it to a local guy, look at that, 25 bucks. He's got us going on that. Uh, hopped on eBay and found a couple of these small bearings. They go in here for that brake rod that was sticking. That's one of the old ones. It was pretty good shape. This one here, uh, not so much that was our issue right there so we're gonna pop those bearings in there real quick this morning get the alternator thrown back on there and uh, hopefully get this jewel out of the shop and get this video this video has been going on for like two weeks it started off as a rainy day oil change and now it's like a two-week marathon of maintenance it is it is <laughs> but on a good note on a good note we ain't got but maybe 35 minutes wrapped up in war time on it. <laughs> this is true <laughs> let's get some bearings in Can you feel a diff can you feel a difference? I think Jerry will be happy with that. No more sticky pedal. Oh, I think he will. Look at that. That one foot, I think that one foot was getting a good workout. <laughs> It's amazing how that one little bitty bearing pedals is like six bucks. You can take a whole machine down. The pedals are made to push, not to put your foot <laughs> yeah. underneath and pull them back up. Anybody's want to know, John Deere's actually got a good website. It's called John Deere Parts Lookup. You go on there, look up parts numbers. I went on there, went on eBay and ordered it, and it's an actual John Deere part. I think it was like five bucks a bearing, so 
All right, I'm uh, ready to install it. Let's install. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, is be look, you got a little bit of rust on here, right there. Uh, I'm gonna take some emery cloth and clean that up. Even though he told me to stick it straight in and it's good to go, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up a little bit with emery cloth and then grease it up and I think it'll be ready to go. All right, now I think we're ready. All right, so I'm gonna try to show you, got that linkage back in. And what I try doing is I try to, before I bolt the bracket down, I try to make sure these are running as true, true as they can from your pedal going down and then from down to your drive train. But uh, I got it all on. If you look right, get you up under here right here let me get up right where our finger is going in that hole there's a set screw that goes there which looks like that but i have no clue where he put it you think he'd have it laying right here with all these other bolts he's got but it ain't um you know how a kid gets out and plays with Legos and they end up scattered all over the floor? That's where I kind of feel like this is going because I try to think to myself, if I was Mr. Mike Simon, where would I put that set screw? Because I'm not gonna put it somewhere like right here, right in the work area. I'm gonna have to go put it somewhere where it's kind of hid. So I guess my next step is trying to find that set screw so we can get it in and make sure that pedal works. Right now it works great, not hooked up. So hopefully it works that good after we get that set screw in there. All right, so we're gonna have to do a little more investigation. This pedal works good. You can see how it's real easy. And if you watch, you can watch it go up and down. Now the one we worked on is this pedal. It's still sticking. Will not go all the way down. You gotta grab your foot underneath and pull it down. So there's still something wrong with it. Yeah, it's sticking up. Take your foot, pop it out. It, it's a lot better. It's a lot better, but uh, we're gonna figure out what's causing that to stick like that. We know the bearings were shot in the one part, but there's something else that's still making it stick. So we're gonna have to do a little research on it. All right, so what I've done is I loosened these two bolts up. Right here's this bracket. Now, I, I'm not gonna point no fingers at anybody or anything like that, but when we were driving these bearings out, I was doing it one way and, and somebody else decided they were gonna do it the other way and they kind of bent this bracket. But now that I got this bracket loose, you watch, I hit the pedal. Now it's working right. You can see the cylinders coming up like it should. So, basically what it is, is it's in this bracket right here. Now it works so good, take one finger to be able to push the pedal. But, then uh, everything's coming up freely. So it's in that bracket, so I think what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm scooting this bracket around right here, which it slides back and forth this way. And I'm trying to get that happy medium, that feel good spot, so Hopefully I can get it tightened down now and it'll stay. All right, so got both them bolts tightened back up. Pedal's working great, pedal's working great. So I think we got that problem fixed. I'm not so for sure. I know that one bearing was shot, but I'm not so for sure if it was that bracket just not lined up right. Like I was explaining earlier, that's what I was trying to do is line everything up, everything running true, but it's, it's hard to see. But like this here, it ain't actually setting true. It's kind of cocked 
that way. But uh, that's where it's gotta be, so that pedal will work right. So I think we got that problem fixed. I'd say Jerry's gonna be happy with that. And uh, now it's up to Michael to figure out where everything is for these belly pans, or not the belly pan, but the cover plates that go on right here. And I think we'll have it ready to go. We're gonna move on to the alternator. All right, guys, got the alternator back on her. Pretty simple, all the belts are good and tight. Aaron's got the oil change, blew out the air cleaner, went through and checked all the oil and the differentials. And uh, the transfer box down there, it's all good. Antifreeze check. Drain plugs in check. Oil filter check. Oh, I do know one thing we need to do real quick. Hand me a paint marker. Let's uh, mark down the hours. Old girl's got 11,007 hours on her. That's not the last oil change. Let's go with the red this time. Ooh, pretty. What is today's date? The 11th was Saturday, 14th, 12th, 13th. So it's 7, 14, 20, 11,007. And we changed it all. Beautiful. So here's the plan. We're gonna fire this girl up, back her outside before I put the hood and the shields and guards on and uh give her a little give the engine a bath get her cleaned up a little bit and i want to we blew that hydraulic hose we got some oil in the radiator so i want to get that cleaned out so you ready to see if the old girl's going to come to life Ooh, we got lights fire in a hole I got one task for you. We're doing a job for Farmer Chris a year or so ago, and Jerry bent this thing. And it drives Jerry crazy. Well, I think we leave it like that then. <laughs> Jerry's too good a guy to leave it crazy. So, we're going to let you work your metal magic swooshy stuff and uh, make that look pretty for Jerry so he's happy. We gotta keep Jerry happy. Yeah, we do. We do need to keep him happy. I mean, we discussed our other options today, they're not the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I got everything hooked up and uh, we're ready to go over there. I love my little steam cleaner setup. I end up uh, trading out my turbo nozzle for a uh, green 25 degree. I won't be too rough on that radiator whenever I get it, but this is the issue this is where a hydraulic hose blue and then it was a dusty job so it's got all this junk and stuff on there uh, i just want to take care of that while we're here so how's the maker happen
may see a little black stuff or dots in here but i'm gonna leave that on there because if i'd have done that i'd, I'd have got chewed out but um what i what i want to point out is man oh man uh i don't know if you've seen that now if i was if i pressure wash that i know what he'd be de telling me to do uh fire that pressure washer back off let's get, uh, back up let's get that cleaned off uh the other side hey, since you're uh since you're so concerned about it why don't you just fire a pressure washer up and go ahead and finish my job no i'm uh oh so it's good now i'm gonna play mr dirt for every day if you don't know if you don't mind can you you missed a spot right here i'm saving that for later that right there all right and up under there you didn't quite get that good enough and there's a spot back i got, up I got there. one question for you is it better than what it was yeah but when we did the john deere I think I did that three or four different times. That's a, that's a complete rebuild. This is just the the 120, this is, this the 850. They're you this know the spicy bath. They both need a good bath. All right, my complaint's over. All right, now All that right. you've got done judging my cleaning job. I didn't even check the other side. Hmm. Did you get underneath? this side's flawless? Really? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna judge your height now because I got a feeling. Go ahead and reach up there and try to grab that. Well, I can. I just got to get on top of all of this. Oh, I, yeah. I can reach it. This is what I got to do to reach it. See? I'll be able to get it. Look how easy that is. Well, why don't you just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be too hey, mean. Hey, I love that shirt. I can't be too mean. I need you. That, that speckled That's shirt the, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You ready, Shorty? I'm ready. Don't hurt yourself over there. We don't have time for a hospital. All right, you ready? No, we don't. We're going on that's vacation no, this week. That's no joke. I'm <laughs> <laughs> dropping out. Bingo. Oh, like it was meant to be. Perfect. All right, we're going to get these uh, panels on and uh, wrap this project up. Hey, look what Mr. Dirt Perfect's doing. Listening to me. I'm just showing that you're listening to me. I'm just trying to do a good job. That's right. I appreciate that. Well, got all the guards and shields on. Got Aaron's piece on. Just close, buddy. It looks pretty good. It just needs a little bit of tweaking. A little tweaking. I think uh, sledgehammer, a couple two prefers, and a little loving, just in the right spot. You ready? Yeah. Oh, again. Undo it again. Got to hit it with your purse. Hit it with my purse? Yeah. Hitters all, all hitters hard. Oh yeah, one more time. One more time. See what? Oh. Oh. Now we're getting somewhere. Now I just gotta readjust that. Readjust that, I think we're good. Yep. Well guys, there she is in all of our glory. Panels back on, got the exhaust. We actually got that looking pretty decent for what it is it looks a lot better than what it did small things like that you keep them fixed take pride in your machine and uh, you have a good piece of equipment everybody else tends to take care of your stuff because they see you take care of it so it's uh, important to me to keep little stuff like that uh fixed and rolling but like i said i got uh inner finer auto final uh radiator cleaned got the pedal fixed got the alternator fixed I think she's good for another couple hundred hours, I hope, because we got a couple hundred hours of work ahead of her. But uh, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed cycling everything through the shop. I'm going to take this to the top of the hill. Let Captain Cleaner pick, Captain Cleaner. <laughs> Captain Cleaner pick it up and uh, haul it out to the next one. He should be here shortly. So away we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We'll catch you on the next one. So, Macy, you came in and got me, didn't you? What's going on?
No, no, we want everybody to see this. Hey, Michael, you come out and talk to us for a little bit. Now, look at this. This is how smart we are. Let me see if I can get over here. All right, if you look right there, I'll kind of point this out. Yeah, right in that area. He can wiggle in, but now he's stuck, and I can't pick the truck up to get it out, so I guess I'm going to have to get the jack to way. get him out. Changing oil usually is a simple job, but when you got Mr. Dirt Perfect along to do it, it turns into a real job. I'm glad you found my camera. Oh, yeah. That I had to find. Hey, watch your language. Don't say anything. Oh, bad. Son of a, you me. All right, hey, did you get that oil filter off? Did you get the new one on? I don't want to talk about it. You want you cross thread it the new one on? No, worse. Want you drop the new one in the oil. Okay. There's the box I handed you with the new filter. Uh, you dropped the damn glove in the oil. But I burned my ear on the exhaust. <laughs> hey, no Here. offense, but Walmart does a better job than this. <laughs> Macy, what? Pull me. Pull your feet? Yeah, pull my feet. Dad, you're stuck. Water, help me. Okay. Grab the other Come foot. Come on. Oh, hold on, that's my rib. Okay. All right. So I feel like we're gonna have to get a jack. So I'm gonna get the jack. Mm -hmm. There's a little jack there. I'm hoping that'll be enough. Now we just gotta find the handle. I don't know where the handle's at, but I don't think I'll need the handle. He made it. All right. Took three kids to get you, but we got you. <laughs> no jack needed. <laughs> 